one more thing that I want to pick up on that you mentioned. Dynamite had an version to working for the WWF. Was it because of the schedule? Was it because he didn't think he could? He wasn't where he was when he first went to the WWF years ago, or did he have a problem with Vince specifically that I'm uh, that I'm unaware of? I think all those things. Um, Tom had a lot of pride, and when uh, they left. I think this was uh, toward the end of 88, you know, it was after the fallout of the, the Rougeau incident. Um, and uh, Tom just uh, decided I don't want to go back to WWF. You know, I, I think he was, he was concerned that um, if he went back there, it would look like he had no other options, right? He had to basically uh, put his tail between his legs and go back to WWF because there weren't any other options. I think Vince was pretty, keen on bringing them back as uh, the Bulldogs had um, been a huge commodity for them. You know, they'd had uh, great success with them. And maybe after a couple of years, you know, after they're out of the promotion, they could have uh, uh, brought them back, maybe made them heels, you know, but uh, I think for Tom, uh, he figured their run was already over. He, he was very self-conscious about what he could do in the ring and what he couldn't. And with his injuries, he knew he couldn't, uh, um, perform at the level he once did, you know, and that was very hard for him. And, uh, you know, and to be honest, Tom, uh, hadn't done himself any favors with his lifestyle. He was heavily drinking. He was taking so many painkillers, um, and, uh, his work rate had, had deteriorated a lot, you know, even though he was still putting out working as hard as he could, um, you know, the injuries had caught up with him so much. And I think he realized he had a, a limited career span there, but, um, you know, it was, um, it was very true that when Vince had seen him in the dressing room at an All Japan show, this was in 1990, I think they were doing a, a joint promotional show with Hulk Hogan and uh, uh, All Japan. And, and Vince uh, went over there and saw all the boys in the dressing room and saw Dynamite and Davey and shook hands with both of them and, uh, you know, said to Dynamite, you guys are welcome to come back anytime. And I think he was pretty sincere in that gesture. Um, and then Tom basically... Uh, flat out told him I'd never work for you again you know and I think it gave Tom a, a lot of satisfaction to say that in front of the other boys like I don't need to kiss Vince McMahon's ass you know and uh, I can tell him uh, right in front of the other boys you know that I, I don't want to work for him again you know and uh, uh, for Davey you know that was uh, not not the direction he wanted to go he he wanted to keep his doors open and uh, go back there and uh make that money that he once did and uh, get that exposure. Because once, once you aren't working for WWE or WCW, you lost that TV exposure and you were no longer uh, a big star, right? You know, you, you basically would just have to rely on Japan and that was about it. So, so Davey obviously took a different career path and uh, patented the name and uh, went back as the solo bulldog. And, uh, you know, D Dynamite was, was uh, very unhappy with him over that 